Hello, everybody. Uh, this is DFS Chan coming to you here to talk about today's uh, EU Master Slate um, for April 21st. Again, um, EU Masters is continuing uh, starting today um, for the next four days, I believe, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, as we have entered into a round robin format of the tournament of the spring main event group stage. So as you will see here, um, the tournament consists of four, four groups basically. And for each day, like starting today, group D is gonna be playing all of their games today. And then tomorrow group C, group B and group A, you get the idea. So today, yeah, I mean, all these four teams in group D, LDLC, Unicorns of Love, Sexy Edition, Bison Z Club and Atlanta, these teams are going to be playing against each other um, all day today, basically, um, in six games, I believe. So it's a six-game slate, but it's a round-robin format, uh, again, I remind you. So it's going to be interesting to see, you know, who comes out, you know, who wins the early, you know, early in the day. And then that obviously would solidify some of these top teams that are up here already. Um, to, you know, advance to the knockout stage. So obviously these later games may not mean anything for some of these top teams in the group, um, but we will dissect that and kind of um, come up with our predictions, you know, for the day. So for, uh, for, for today's, today's slate, that's going to be a group D slate uh, where LDLC is three and zero and U of L is two and one, and they are the top two teams in the uh, in the group, so um, I do think they are by far the favorite um, to advance out of the uh, group stage to the knockout stage. So I do think it would be optimal to have LDLC and then U of L uh, players um, in your lineup if you are playing cash or if you are playing, you know, only one or two lineups. But obviously, if you are playing multi-entry lineups. Um, you know, there is a good sizable contest where you could take a chance on Bison or Atlanta. And we actually had some high hopes, um, or I guess everybody else has some high hopes for Atlanta based on the play style they had, um, they, they like to play. Um, but LDLC actually has fixed some of the issues that people were concerned about, like being inconsistent around team objectives um, and getting the, you know, struggling in the early stage of the game. Um, they kind of struggled a bit earlier in the group stage, um, but they, it looks like they've actually gotten better, much better, and improved over the last week or so. So, yeah, I do think um, LDLC and Unicorns of Love will win most of the games today on the slate, and I'll go through each, each game, but um, I do think it's going to be a good combination of these two teams, I think, that may take down the slate today. So the first game is Bisons against LDLD, LDLC. Um, Bisons is actually not too bad. I actually like um, Random and Gooby um, in the middle, mid, mid lane and the bottom lane, um, but I, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of their top lane and the jungler. And LDLC really has shown me that Ragnar has been, you know, really, I, I love Ragnar so far, you know, this tournament. And Yike has been okay, but Aka and Exec, exec Kick, um, the mid, mid, mid lane and the bottom lane, I really like them a lot. Um, and, I, and I do think LDLC will take care of business. I mean, this is, this is a must win game for both of them, obviously, um, because, you know, if they drop a game and they win, you know, they're only gonna be, uh, you know, uh, down one, one game behind LDLC with two and two record for Bisons if they win. Um, and LDLC will go down to three and one, which, you know, is dangerous when you have a two and one and two and two teams uh, right behind them. So I do think LDLC will take care of business um, here against Bison. Um, and then Atlanta against Unicorns of Love. Um, Atlanta really, like I said, they haven't shown me, I know they had high hopes coming into the tournament, but the last three games they lost in each one of them, they haven't really shown me anything. Um, I do want to see some stats here, uh, see what their, um, you know, early game and mid game advantages are. So I do want to, uh, I'll pull up all the teams in this group. You, uh, Bison, 
and then I blend up. Okay. So, well, first of all, uh, let's look at the early game. Oh, goal difference rather. Goal difference at 15 minutes is usually a good indicator as to if they're winning at 15 minute mark. Um, as you see, LDLC has a pretty good um, goal difference at 15 minutes. Um, Bison's actually is pretty good there. Um, so maybe Unicorns of Love is a little bit fraudulent. So between Bison's and Unicorns of Love, it'll be interesting to see what pick I make. Um, but LDLC definitely is at top. Um, maybe I'll take a note here. So that's a very interesting. LDLC, Bison, and Eurobell. That's interesting. Okay. Well, let's look at the early game advantage. Um, all three teams here, except for Atlanta. So I, I don't know if I'm going to play any Atlanta. Um, so I think that just by the process of elimination, I don't think I'm going to have any Atlanta, but just play with these three teams, LDLC, U of L, and Bison. And then mid to late game rating, LDLC is really good still. That's very good. So it's rare that both they lead these four teams in both early game and mid late uh, game rating ratings. So I think that's a really good sign for LDLC. And then U of L, better late game than Bison's. So that's interesting. Then Bison. So when U of L plays against Bisons, I think that's going to be the kicker uh, for the group um, prediction. I do want to see one more thing here. U of L. Combined kills per minute is obviously the measurement for kill upside. And LDLC has been playing fast. Fast. I, CKPM, and both. All the other teams kind of as well. So I'm not hugely worried about the CKPM in this situation because they're all very high, actually. Um, let's see if there's anything else we can look at. So lane control rate. Look at that. Atlanta has been bad. But they're all about, all about the same jungle control percentage, which I value a lot. LDLC has been high, very high. Man. And leads the teams and many metrics. And they're about the same between U of L and Bison. So yeah, I think Bison can definitely pull this off today if they, if if you are a believer. Um, just based on my eye test though, um, yeah, I mean, U of L has a higher upside, like higher skill upside, in my opinion, compared to Bison. But looks like Bison actually has been playing pretty well. Um, so maybe if somehow Bison pulls this off at the beginning of the slate against LDLC, they could advance. I mean, two and two and the last game or the second to the last game for Bisons between Unicorns of Love and Bisons, that's going to be the kicker, I think, for both teams' uh, destiny in this tournament, really. Because I think Bisons will surely beat Atlanta at the end, um, but the Unicorns of Love, they'll have to beat Atlanta in the second game on the slate. Usually teams do better this is a general like rule or general observation rather in the u masters teams that teams tend to play better in the second games on the slate and around robin format just to have that one game first game under the belt you know get the jitters out and all that whatever the case is but then if they lose and get demoralized by playing against ldlc will they show up against uniform slot i mean i think it's so far enough there are two games between Bison's games. Um, I think they will do okay. Um, let's see, Unicorns of Love will have confidence after beating Atlanta and Bison's. 
Yeah, I think this is, yeah, I mean, like I said, that's gonna, I think it's going to come down to this 2 o'clock game Eastern time um, between Bisons and New York Corners of Love. Because I do think LDLC will take care of business. They just need to win two out of three games um, to be safe. Um, even if they just win one game, they could still advance, um, but depending on other teams' results. But really, these are the teams, three teams that I would target. Um, actually, if you are playing for GPP, yeah, I mean, I would definitely target Bisons um, for sure. Um, I think Bisons metrics are actually metrics leads and some metrics over URL. So I do think Bison's is viable pick today, actually looking at all the data. And like I said, the combined kills per minute and the kill upside, is, it's about equal for all the teams. So I do think based on the game results, um, you know, each team plays three games today. And if you think LDLC wins one game, the first game and then loses the next two games, but still advances, I mean, that could happen. You know, then you obviously want to have a, you know, more, you know, higher stack with by Bison's or U of L, right? So, cause I think, um, I think that's gonna, the Bison's and U of L will have more motivation and incentive to play uh, hard and try hard um, in the later games probably. So, yeah, I think, I think these are, these, this is what I got for this group. Um, I do think LDLC is by far, uh, um, you know, more dominant over these two teams. So maybe I'll play LDLC, Bisons, Bisons, LDLC, and then LDLC, UofL, UofL, LDLC, based on long stack, short stack, you know. Um, Bisons, UofL, uh, that's gonna be interesting. I do think Bisons will be less owned then Yovel, so maybe from the leverage standpoint, you can go Bison's long stack and hope for the best, um, but it could happen. So anyway, if you guys have any questions, let me know. If you guys want to chat uh, League of Legends, uh, esports, anything like that, uh, you can reach out to me on Discord, YouTube, or Twitter at the FS Chan. Um, but you know, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button here uh, below us, um, and then hit the subscribe button for True DFS if you are interested in watching videos about other sports. Thanks. Bye-bye.